house. All right, getting you on a tripod. There we go. So today I thought it would be fun to do a mostly furnished tiny house tour because the last time you saw me here on YouTube, I only had a bed and now I have a bunch of things, but it's not finished yet. There are still a lot of decorative, fun pieces that I'm going to be adding and I want to give my good dear friend, Alyssa, a shout out because one of her businesses is called Sacred Spaces Designs and she helps people with their interior design choices. And a lot of what you're going to see is from her brain. And we're going to, again, be adding a lot more, but I just wanted to keep you updated with how it's coming along. Okay. All right, so when you walk into the tiny house, one thing I haven't really fully showed you yet is there is this table. And it goes down. How exciting. Oh, and also so much of what you see in here was all handcrafted by the builders. So this was their design. Um, yeah. I like to sit here and work on my computer. Oh, also these chairs. Oh, this is already going really well. These chairs are super cute. What else can I say? They swivel. They also have the little like hydraulic thingy. You're seeing the real me, everybody. I always like hydraulic chairs. Woo, it's like a ride. Fun. So I got these on Amazon. I will link anything that is linkable, not sponsored, but that would be cool if everything was. And then I was on a walk the other day and my neighbor gave me these as a little housewarming gift, which I thought was really sweet. Oh, and then this right here is funny. <sighs> It says welcome. My friend Alon was here for like a month and she wrote this, but my mom went out of her way to get me this little chalkboard so I could write keep out and hang up whenever I didn't want her to come in, <laughs> which is so funny. Uh, which it's been really nice. My parents live right next door, but they have been pretty good at respecting my privacy, but I just think that's hilarious. Also, right when you walk in the door, there's the kitchen right here. So fun fact, the company that I got my tiny house from, they are called Tiny Mountain Houses and they do custom builds. I did not have this place custom built. I actually wanted a tiny house like as soon as possible and when I went to check out what they had, they had this as an option. Someone started building it and getting it all customized, but then they canceled their order when it was almost all the way done. So I was able to get this finished up for myself in just like a few weeks but everything for the most part was already put in. I love the tile backsplash. I normally probably would have gone for like a white tile or maybe something just lighter, but I do think that this black tile is cool and it has these chrome accents throughout it, which I do like. As far as the countertops, they are quartz. I personally would have gone with the classic white and gray marble. I also love this massive like farmhouse style sink. I probably would have gone with like a white porcelain or whatever. But again, I do still genuinely love it. And I also love the white cupboards and how much storage this place has. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but these are really tall. The ceilings are extra high in this. I got this little coffee maker that I just stole from my parents' house. I would like some sort of different thing, like maybe an espresso or something, I don't know. And then it is nice that all of the appliances are full size. So we got a refrigerator, a freezer, a oven, a stove, a microwave. The only thing it doesn't have is a dishwasher, but I've been managing washing by hand. And I have this washer dryer combo and some dirty clothes included. And then you turn over here, a handcrafted little mini spiral staircase. They call it a ribbon staircase. And then we have some actual furniture. How exciting. So this rug and this couch were both suggested by Alyssa. She was very much set on like, you should definitely get that rug, but get some sort of turquoise teal couch. And then when we actually get it fully decorated, there's gonna be like some plants. There's gonna be some like funky wall art, just really cool. Also, we have my little electric piano and my little karaoke machine in the corner. I do not yet have a TV. Those are blinds that need to be hung up, 
but I'm going to get a small TV to put right there, like a 32 inch or something like that. All right, I'm gonna sit down for a second. I mentioned this in my last video, but I also do have an Amazon gift, a mammoth of words. I also do have an Amazon wish list. If anyone wants to get me anything, I am offering digital products. Like I have my 30 days of scripting, my vision board bundle, or coaching sessions. So if you help me get things, it's basically getting offers that I have for a discounted price, if that makes sense. So if you do want to check out my Amazon wish list, I'm going to link that down below. Any help is greatly appreciated. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. All right, now let's make our way up the stairs. Before we go up the stairs though, this is my little book case shelf thingy, which I have a lot more books than that, I just haven't brought them out. All right, up we go. All right, so if you saw my last couple of videos, my night routine and then my morning routine. This is still pretty much the same. Here is my little bedroom loft. The mattress I got from some mattress store. I don't remember which one. The bedding and the blanket were both from Amazon. Again, I'll link those below. And then I just hung these twinkle lights, which are not plugged in currently and you wouldn't be able to see them very well right now. But I'm gonna show you what everything looks like at night after I show you the tour. It's really cool, so I'm excited for you to see that. <sighs> I'm losing my breath right now, by the way. There's the view out my window. All those trees. <sighs> and then this is the other side of the bookcase. I'll probably store, I don't know what I'll store there, something. Maybe I'll get little bins or something to store clothing i'm not sure yet and then also there's this little mini closet i got this little rod to hang i don't know some sort of curtain and i just have some blankets and a sweatshirt there looking very lovely the ceiling fan's really cute and this wood on the ceiling is blue fir or blue oak some sort of blue tree I don't remember which one. And the view from the bedroom loft. You can see the bathroom. We'll check that out in a second. And we'll go over to the secondary loft shortly, which you can see right now. I have some new items that you didn't see last time. All right, traveling down the stairs safely. I've had no accidents on these stairs. It's actually been relatively simple. I feel like I'm shaking the camera a ton right now. Sorry about that. Oh wait, you know what I didn't show you yet? The view. And then this back window has a really good view of some trees. I love nature. And not much has changed in here if you saw my last videos. See, this has marble countertops, but a lot of storage for a bathroom, <laughs> for, for a tiny house, I mean. Louise, everyone keeps asking about Louise. Okay, for everyone who keeps asking about Louise, She's over at my parents' house the majority of the time because it's been taking a while to get everything settled in here. And then my friend Alon stayed for an entire month. And now I'm about to go to California for like 10 days. So after I get back from California in a couple of weeks, then I will fully move Louise in here. But she does come in here for a few hours at a time. So our litter box is right there. My mom also got me these hooks to suction up in the shower so that I could hang things like my towels in my bathrobe because there's no wall space in this bathroom. And again, I love the fact that I have a bathtub. The only thing that sucks is for some reason, the hot water, it gets hot, but it comes out so little. I tried to take a bath and for 10 minutes of having that on, it only filled up a couple of inches versus the cold water, which isn't the best, but still probably like three times as intense as the hot water. I'm sure there is a way to fix it. I just have not done that yet. All right, and my last area to show you is my office loss, loss, office loft slash Zenden medicine. Uh, my words are not working today. Office loft slash meditation zenden 
morning routine area. I think I got those words out. I feel like I've just been spending so much alone time lately that I, I don't speak this much daily. All right, here we go. Yee. So this is looking a little lopsided right now. I'm gonna sit on it. This is a fun thing. It's from this brand called Corduroy. This unzips and in it, there is a folded up foam queen size bed. If I have guests, then I could just take this out and they can sleep here. So there's that. Oh, this is really good lighting. Like everywhere I go with the camera in here, I'm like, this is freaking amazing lighting. What is this? I like it. Okay, and then these are things that you've seen already. These were both gifted to me from my Amazon wish list, and they're both so freaking cute. I love them so much. I got this at Home Goods. This is just a blanket that I'm using to sit on because this is the desk that my pal and client Alex Lopez got me. So I'll sit right here and I'll put my computer here, goes up to about there. So then the camera's eye level and this is where I'll do my coaching calls. My dad, why is my dad walking out here? I see him, do you see him? He's right there. Get out of here dad, I'm trying to film. So yes, this is my office space and this is more so my morning routine sacred space. So if you know me, I'm not just some country girl living in a tiny house in the forest. I'm very much into manifestation and spirituality. I'm a life coach and that's the things that I do. This is where I will do my morning things. So good to have my own space. I was not doing a ton of my consistent morning routine work, especially with these things while I was in my family's house because they're not into this at all. This is AC and heating all in one, and it does a really good job in this space. And then also here is the view from my office, which is my favorite view, because you get all the prettiest parts. You can see my room, you can see the living room, my cute little chairs, my kitchen. You can see out the windows, all the trees. <sighs> and yeah, I just love it. What do you think? Do you like how it's coming along? Anyway, as mentioned, I wanna show you what this space looks like at night because it's a completely different vibe. It's bright and sunny and colorful during the day. It's still colorful at night, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So we're gonna time travel right now and fast forward into the evening. And good evening, whoa. That lights up quite a bit, <laughs> wow. Uh, but I was really excited to show you the lighting in my bedroom loft, but half of it isn't working correctly, which is really bumming me out. So here we are, and these lights are sound activated. Hello, woo! And there are two sections. So I'm a little sad that that side's going out, but I'll do my best to get it fixed and you can imagine how cool it is when it's all working properly. It gets bright, but I feel like it's really <laughs> amplified on the camera. Like it does, it's not that extreme in, in person. But it's cool because you can play music and the lights will like flicker to the music. So yeah, nighttime sleeping loft vibes, although it's a little wonky right now. Now it's time for me to show you the vibes downstairs. You're kind of already kind of seeing them. This is my living room. I have this really awesome galaxy light. I pretty much have it set up this way every night. I'll like maybe get my laptop out and watch a movie just in these vibes. And also I have to show you this. It is so freaking cool. This was on my Amazon wish list. And Lara, who is someone who got me a Amazon wish list item, a few videos back, sent me another thing. And the note was so sweet. She was like, I get my family things all the time and they don't really show that much appreciation. So I love how much you appreciated it. So I wanted to get you something else and I freaking am obsessed with this. It's so on point with my galaxy nighttime vibes. Another thing that I tend to do is <laughs> 
Solo karaoke. Bluetooth mode. I got this from Amazon in the fall for my retreat. But I also just like to use it for myself. Here we go. Go, go, go. Lovely to be sitting here with you. You're kind of cute, but it's lovely to be ringing on with you. And you come and it feels like the start of a movie I've seen before. That's all you get of this. <coughs> My throat's kind of scratchy. But that's not all because I also play the piano at nighttime as well. I took piano lessons for like 10 years, but I'm not amazing at it because I never practice, but I can play. part of my night so yeah once again i hope you enjoy how my tiny house is coming along as always subscribe for more like if you liked it leave a comment below letting me know what you would like to see next all right well thanks for watching i'll see you soon with a new video bye guys